Bruce, we were talking about the road trip and how having four days away was good for bonding and now you're four days at home, so you could spin it both ways, but just knowing you don't have to travel before the holidays and you're back here, no planes the next, but can you just talk about the importance of that uh, schedule? Well, even though it didn't show in our uh, record the road, I think it was we played a lot of home games. It's probably good for the guys to reconnect uh, on that level. Now it's uh, back home where we've played well. So I, mean, I think soon the guys are looking forward to these this little stretch, especially when you're going into the holidays. Everyone you know, typically has some stuff to take care of and family in town, et cetera. So it's nice to be around to, to enjoy that part of it. Do you think the record that you do have at home this season, being so good, does that play mentally into their game a little bit, just knowing that they've I, I hope but we just play no matter what. Mm -hmm. I, you know, you hope it plays into the opposition's head that, that boy, this is going to be a tough building. Maybe, you know, we'll save our energy for tomorrow and Buffalo, wherever they're off to. But uh, I think at this level, every night's a new night. It just happens. We've been, been able to, to get points here, and, and that's not new. I think the last few years we've played well here. And, We've also had a few good comebacks that typically aren't going to happen all year, so it might be a little skewed in that regard. Thank you. Before you went on the road, there was the talk of uh, some lack of urgency. Um, was getting back on the road, was that kind of like the, uh, the elixir for that? I think so. I thought we played, you know, after we left Ottawa, it wasn't our best there. I thought we played harder in the next three games. Got one win to show for it, but better. The urgency came back to our game. Sometimes that's the opposition. Sometimes it's our group recognizing that we just got to, you know, play better. Um, I think every team goes through certain stretches during the year where they're, you know they're feeling it, and other times there's lulls for whatever reason. Sometimes it's injury, sickness. Sometimes it's just a schedule. Uh, sometimes just a mental block. But at the end of the day, we got to you got to get out of those lulls quickly. Um, and I thought you know that like I said, we played some good hockey there, uh, didn't get rewarded. Whereas we weren't playing our best before that, and did get rewarded. So hopefully that you know kickstarts us here and that they're, they're you know a better way to play. Any changes from yesterday from what you told us in the lineup? No, or? same lineup, too, because in Nets. Same okay. as uh, in Florida. Kings have been um, better recently on the road after being pretty bad. Um, what about their game right now is something that you guys need to be on top of? Well, I think there's some newness there. So you get out on the road and uh, early on and, and new players and just you know maybe changing systems, et cetera takes a while to mesh, so they're probably finding their game. That's probably the, the reason more than anything. Um, their game, uh, they've got some, they're, they're kind of in a mix of the, they've got the young guys they've introduced to their lineup. They've got a lot of speed, and then they've got the veteran grinders, the Cliffords, Lewis, Carter, Toffoli, guys that have been around, won a cup a certain way, and they're trying to mesh those, those styles of play. We went through it, I think, a few years ago, and uh, had some success with it, so that's you know probably where they're at. Whether they're, I don't know their personnel to a T like I did ours obviously a couple of years ago. But some of those young guys look like they're going to be good players. It's just a matter of getting on the same page. On, on defense with, with John Moore, I mean, is it a matter of he would have to play himself out, or do you will you look for ways to get Connor in? No, we're going to look for to get Cliffy games. He's he's too young every night to sit out yet. You know, we kind of talked about what was. Um, you know, the injuries, if Kevin Miller had been healthy, Cliffy's probably able to go down to Providence, work on his game, because he's not going to. But at the end of the day, uh, his number of games came up where now he's exposed to waivers. So there's a bit of an asset management there as well. So in a perfect world, uh, he would be down there if not able to play, and we'll use him when, he, when we could. But right now, Johnny's, I think he's been good coming off of the injury. We didn't know what we'd get in a long time. So sometimes it takes a while to find your game, but I thought. He had, a, he had a tough luck night in Tampa. A couple of stick fouls that were asked him to have a better stick to puck, and he happened to get tangled in there a couple of times. But his effort's been good. He's been good on the kill. Um, so I don't have any, any issues there. Uh, so, so with the Cliffy thing, we're just going to play it day by day, and hopefully he gets his opportunity to get in there. Not through injury, but hopefully just us you know, managing the lineup. Going back to what you were saying there about the you know, meshing the, the physicality and the old way the Kings used to play into what they're trying to do now, do you remember, I mean, was there a certain moment where you guys started to find that, and how did you do it? Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job right out of the get-go. The first weekend, we, we kind of asked the guys to play with a little more, I don't want to say risk, but, you know, get the D involved, groups of five, offense, skating. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we changed a few, a little bit of personnel as we went. I, I can't pinpoint exactly when, you know, the Heinens and the Crowleys got full-time where I think Crowley might have been in the playoffs before, right at the end, the yeah. first year. I know he was good against Ottawa, and we, we kind of changed maybe, took some ice time away from, if I remember, maybe the Jimmy Hayes or Bolesky and used some of the, you know, a different mix. And 
Um, so I couldn't pinpoint the exact time. I know the first weekend, I think our mindset changed in terms of we can play with pace. Uh, mm -hmm. We practice that way. Let's take it into the game. You know, if you don't win early, then will there be buy-in? That was, the, you know, the, always the question mark. We did. They had some success. They scored. We, we still defended well. Uh, and off we went. So I don't want to say right away, but our style changed right away. And then the personnel we added was kind of along the way. We, we felt we were going to have internal competition. Then you got to earn your minutes. You don't just get them. So that kind of happened probably through the course of the rest of that season and the next year, to be honest with you. And, and hopefully to this day, that's what we want. We want guys to push one another internally, organization-wide, and that's what mm -hmm. typically will, will make you better. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Straight rotation on the